I sense a great disturbance. An artifact of great power has been procured by a fool. What's up nerds, I'm the Roleplay Gamer, and I like to party. Welcome back to Skyrim Special Edish. Special Edish. Hang on, let me just make sure that my sound's working. Yeah, it's working. We're all good. It was a little bit silent for me there. Thought maybe I got my, uh, my audio sort of messed up. Alright, so we got a lot of developments. You guys should love what's good, what's gonna happen from now on. Uh, so, you know, of course, there has been a disturbance. Uh, Ron, the NPC, who is, uh, that's Kluger's character, of course, link in the card at the top of the screen right now, check out his latest video. He's, he's gotten hold of the Wobbajack. Now, the Overlord knows something has happened, as you, as you heard just before, he knows that, um, a fool <laughs> has gotten hold of a, a powerful artifact. But I don't think he necessarily knows which artifact or who it is. Um, but you know, as the series goes on, there's going to be more talk of, of Ron the NPC. Uh, you know, as he as he starts gaining fame. Because uh, for those of you who haven't yet seen Kluger's videos, basically it's an NPC who is forced to take up the role of the Dragonborn. But isn't the Dragonborn, or if he is doesn't want to be the dragonborn, doesn't know that he's a dragonborn, you know how it goes, that sort of thing. Alright, we've also got um, some mods, so I'll show you what that's about. Go over to system here, we'll go to... no... Je uh, what? <laughs> Shouldn't it give us the mods? I thought it, it did. Maybe that's just in Fallout. All right, <laughs> all right. There'll be uh, the the mods will be listed in the uh, in the description then. But basically, what we got is a little bit of necromancy. So I've, I've thrown in uh, alternate start, which doesn't affect this play playthrough at all because we've already started, right? Um, but I've also got this necromancy mod. I can't remember the name of it, but it'll be in the description for sure. Uh, that allows us. It, it basically ups the 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 summon limit, so we can summon twenty straight off the bat. Uh, 20 zombies straight off the bat but instead of um, you know as a as a balance to that it sucks down our magicka so in order to summon more simultaneously like we can summon as many as we want right now but as soon as our magicka drains they're all going to die uh, but they don't turn into ash so we can resummon them again um, so what we're gonna have to do too powerful right both of them, too fucking powerful, right, whatever. All right, let's get out of here, man. So what we're gonna have to do is up our, both our Magicka and our Magicka regeneration, while also, uh, if we go over here, well, we're gonna continue to up our health a little bit. So now we're at 150, I think we can start focusing on uh, on Magicka. So instead what happens is by, I think the way the mod works is by taking, um, you know, these perks here, Novice Conjuration, Apprentice Conjuration, which is what we're going to take here, it lowers how much Magicka is drained from having a zombie up. So currently, one zombie is enough for our Magicka to regenerate. Um, but more than one, then it's, you know, it's just a matter of time before they die. Mystic Binding, Jewel Casting. I'm going to hold off on that just for now. Uh, we might save, might save the point there, otherwise dual casting. I'm not going to go dual casting just yet because it's not something we've been doing uh, because we've got, we've got the dagger all up in here. Cool. So let's head out. Alright, so for those of you who are concerned about the lack of, of mace use, um, yeah, we are going to stick to the... Where are we even going right now? Um... Up there, up there. It's probably. Hang on, hold on, hold on. Just, just a second, just a second while we discuss some things. Uh, yeah. So we, I'm, I am going to stick to, you know, what the the poll has dictated, because um, you know that's what the ma majority of you have uh, have voted for. So that's what we're going to stick to. Um, but yeah, don't make no mistake. We are still going to procure the Mace of Molag, Molag Bal. We're kind of obligated to. Um, it's, I mean, it's a Daedric artifact, but it's also the Daedric artifact of 
what is essentially our patron Daedric Prince, right? You know, the um, Daedric Prince of of Dominion and and whatnot. That's like that's what we're all about. So so we're absolutely going to grab that and maybe not use it all the time, but use it you know in certain situations. So let me just like pierce the veil for you a moment here and break the fourth wall. There is a there's a there, there are a couple NPCs hanging around here somewhere that I really want to kill because one of them is wearing <laughs> one of them is 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 wearing steel armor and I really want it. But as I say that, there's no justification that I can think of these reasons. Look, we could say that I, I sense you know beings nearby, but you know, it's we're starting to draw a long bow here. So as much as I really want that steel armor steel plate or whatever it's called it's been a while i forget the names of things uh, as much as i want that steel plate i think we're gonna have to let it go for now and just wait to stumble on some heavy armor um like i said you know it, it hurts me because i really want it but also i don't feel we can adequately justify it uh so so there you go so let's let's head off and deliver this star you have been waylaid by enemies yeah. and must defend you. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You're asking for trouble walking around with dangerous magic like that. You know it. So here we are at the frozen hearth. Now I did say that I was possibly going to give you guys a poll as to whether we corrupt the star or not. But look, let's be honest. It had, that'd just be a formality here, right? Because you, everyone's going to want us to corrupt the star. And if you don't, you are batshit crazy because... That would be, it's the only option. It's the only option for the Overlord. So in this case, we're not going to poll it. I'm just going to do it. I say, you didn't hear any loud noises last night, did you? No, uh, explosion sounds? <laughs> no, I certainly didn't. Is there a reason you're asking me? No, certainly not. A small experiment may have gone awry, but clearly with no discernible consequences. I see. And is this something I'll need to worry about in the future? Oh, certainly, I hope not. That would be quite unfortunate for my research. Nelika. Stendar's mercy. You found it. Azora's star. Maybe this is my chance to make things right. I can finish Malin's work the way we had meant to before his madness. It would mean cutting the star off from Azora. Only black souls would be able to enter it once we finished. Yes. Let us do it. Give me a minute to examine the star. I'll see what we'll need to do. These fissures and cracks aren't encouraging. Malin obviously was growing more desperate once he left the college. Alright, here we go guys, here we go. So, what? what is all this? What is this? You can't take me anywhere, man. You just, you can't. Oh, this, I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to leave that. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is going to be great. Please stay away while you get that spell on you. actually managed to trap his own soul inside the star. <laughs> and it's I never do that. <laughs> it needs more and more souls to sustain itself. The star is being used to sustain Malin's soul. I can't fix it while that fragment of him is inside. So we deal with Malin somehow makes no difference to me. Precisely. But it's not as simple as enchanting Malin away. He's put up barriers. Souls are only allowed in, not out. If we were to... somehow send a soul inside the star, one that was ready to overpower Malin from the inside... You want to send... my soul inside, don't you? A special type of soul trap, placing you inside the star without fully killing you. Once Malin has been dealt with, I'll bring you back. I understand if you need some time to prepare. Let me know when you're ready. 
I have more pressing issues right now, but I will return. This star is mine. Until next time. All right, so we are going to hold off on this uh, you for a couple reasons that we'll discuss on the other side of this loading screen. Okay. Oh, and here we go. Is our is our little overlord's wolf that I picked up on the way here? The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Oh man, she's just she's just begging for a mace in the face, as all guards are. So yeah, let's just uh, have a look at what we got here uh, in terms of active effects. Reanimate, right? So. Uh, 2,375 hours left on that. So it's effectively infinite, right? Um, and it's just a matter of... You might not even be able to see the Magicka Bar draining because it drains so little um, that you know it actually regenerates before it drains uh, in, in effect. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, plus, it's, it's probably even draining less because we've, uh, we've put a point into Apprentice. Which is pretty cool. So he's going to follow us around for uh, for a little while, and I, I like this. I like where this is going. It's starting to feel a little bit uh, a little bit more overlordy and zombie like. So uh, a couple of reasons we're not going to get into the star right now. I feel like we may be underpowered. Uh, we've had a little bit of like not a lot of trouble, just enough trouble to make me go, mm, that fight with the Daedra and whatnot might not be the best idea right now. <laughs> let's let's strengthen up a little bit plus we haven't got soul trap yet so we can't even use the star so as soon as we get soul trap and we feel we're ready for it which shouldn't be too long away i'm thinking like you know in a couple episodes time um we're gonna we're gonna get in there deal with malin deal with the daedra and uh and do what must be done yes my son yes no we're gonna this is no one is allowed to run from me. Get over here, you. Yes. Yes, my son. Okay, so this will be interesting to see if we can actually maintain uh, two zombies right now. And I'm carrying too much. What did I pick up? It just like the pelt? Alright, let's observe. Observe! Wow! Let's observe the, the magic of bar right here. No, that's draining. Oh, and it's going back up. Nah, it might be too much. It might be too much for us just yet. We gotta up our Magicka regen. Which is which is doable. Just from a high Magicka and maybe even like really spaz it out with some enchanting, you know? Alright, so we're gonna get rid of this guy. Just so that we don't lose the other one. And we gotta drop some stuff. What even? Um Blade Sword. I don't like the blades. Uh, weapons, but <laughs> I feel like we're kind of obligated to keep them. What in terms of apparel do we not need? Probably, uh, probably all this stuff. I really like the hide armor, uh, sorry, the hide shield, but we're probably not going to use it, right? Ever. The light stuff, we're not going to use it. That's enough for now. Alright, so, we know that there's someone else, or we suspect that there's someone else going after Daedric Artifacts. So what's the what's the appropriate course of action here, um, you know, in, in order to, to, to find who the hell this is and deal with them swiftly? Uh, we may need some help, but not in terms of like, oh no, please help me, help me slay my enemy sort of thing. No, no, no. The Overlord doesn't ask for help. He takes help. And when he can't take help, then he infiltrates and, uh, and he, well, then he takes it that way. <laughs> So, so what are we gonna what are we gonna do, guys? It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part of that. Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. 
Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, night mother, why won't you answer me? The Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we know the Overlord, or it's been hinted that the Overlord has had dealings with the Dark Brotherhood in the past. Not, probably not as a friend. Um, but, you know, the, the Overlord reincarnates, he looks different every time. Uh, they're not going to recognize him, but he needs their help. He just might not admit it. <laughs> so instead of asking for it, like I said, we don't ask for help, we take it. So if we can't take it, we're going to infiltrate their organization. I'm going to take it that way. So just, uh, again, to pierce the veil and do like table talk, uh, out of character talk here, this is going to, aside from the fact that it's cool that we get to, you know, be part of the Dark Brotherhood and ultimately take it over. And my, my goal is to then have the, you know, the Sanctuary as a home base and we've got Brotherhood Assassins and we basically, where we're, um, uh, absorbing the Dark Brotherhood ultimately, as I feel the Overlord should, even though he's not a stealthy type, he should have, you know, Master of Whispers and an Assassin's Guild under his under his influence for sure. Um, but there's also there's also a book in the uh, Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary that will set us down a, a quest that will allow us to have a particular item that a few of you uh, really want us to get. Ho <laughs> ho Yes, sir. Finally! My prayers have been answered! Are you... Oh, I mean, yes, my child. It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! Yes, of course. The Black Sacrament. It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Contract? Tell me more. My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grelod the Kind! Are we gonna... Please hurry. <laughs> to be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Very well. I will perform this contract for it's you. Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften? Yes, yes, I know it. What? Magical child, demon child! I'm taking, I'm taking this with me just for that, you little shit. All right, let's do this. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right, here we are in Riften, and uh, just to wrap up the episode here, we're going to deal with that contract. Please help me. We're gonna... Jesus, Riften is chattier than I recall. Uh, yes, I mean, the Overlord doesn't give uh, a baker's fuck at all about killing people, so I think, how are we going to play this? Do we just, like, kill her in front of everyone? This might, this might be the case. I don't think we're going to stealth this at all, though we have the ability to. Um... Fury is definitely an option. Let's see how we feel. Those All right, we'll pull out our Fury just in case. Shirk their duties. We'll get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, yes Grellid. And one more thing. No more talk about Get away! No, 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 I cannot best you. Ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. Is this working for us? What up? What are you gonna do? Just die. Oh! 
That was the coolest thing I've ever seen! Guys, have you ever seen a dagger kill like that? Someone has killed Grillin! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad it went down like that. Take a gold. That just did it. <laughs> Sweet mother of Christ. Oh, guys. <laughs> hey, are we no one can ever question that we are truly the overlord. That was that was spectacular. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to gently caress that like button. It needs love like everything does. Taste the game, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out. Don't forget to check out Kluger's own Skyrim Special Edition series. Episode 1, right there on the screen. Come on, do it. Owie, aye, get in the chopper, now.